hey guys i'm back today with another video but you guys already know before i get started please make sure to hit the subscribe button also turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos this video today is brought to you by the company premium lace wigs now you guys know i used to review for them when they first came out so it has been a while since i reviewed a unit for them so i figured hey why not review this one because it's very affordable when i tell y'all the price y'all gonna be like what but it's very affordable i'm just showing you guys all of the products that come in the box it seems like they still do include a lot of goodies you get your wig cap um you do get some clips you get an elastic band you get some clips to hold the wig back and you also do get a little makeup a bag the unit that i'm showing you guys today is their curly bob wig this is a 13 by 6 lace front wig it is 14 inches in length i have a natural color it's only 130 percent in density you do get your soft lace you get two combs on the side a comb in the back and your adjustable strap also a comb in the middle now as far as this lace color I'm not sure it looks very very light on the website they do offer the lace color light and medium brown as you guys can see the hairline is pre plucked they give you some baby hairs and you do see some knots on this unit which I am going to go ahead and lightly bleach those just to try to conceal them they aren't very big but they are pretty dark so i do want to try to hide those a little bit all right so i've already lightly bleached the knots on my unit so now i am just going to attempt to darken up the lace just a little bit i'm going in with the color caramel from taylor crowns of course any other products that i use in the video will be linked down below for you guys i spray two coats on the lace and then i'm going to take another coat and just spray it on the hairline i know it's coming off a little bit dark right now but it does dry down and then it will kind of all blend together so just making sure to pin the wig down because i do want to work on styling the unit also and the mannequin head and the stand that i have of course is going to be found in the description area also this is what the curls look like after i have washed it you guys already know what i like to use my aussie moist shampoo and conditioner because i feel like it moisturizes it and it leaves a good amount of slip now for this unit today i am going to do some baby hairs now i'm not going to do them too dramatic i'm just pulling out a thin amount of hair in the front and on the sides and then i am going to cut them down shorter i'm trying to figure out exactly where i want this unit to be parted i'm really kind of going for the flip over method so i'm not really focusing on a perfect part but yeah i'm going to go ahead and cut that hair down shorter on the sides and then i will be taking my lot of body foam wrap and then just going ahead and molding it using my edge brush Baby hairs are optional guys you do not have to do them when i do do baby hairs i get comments like i don't like the baby hair look and you should have left it natural but when i am doing these tutorials i'm thinking of everyone there are people out there who like to rock baby hairs there are people out there who just love a natural hairline and i offer a variety of that on my channel so it depends on the look that i'm going for i like them too i just don't like them to be very harsh so if it's not for you that's fine this is a pre puck wig so you do not have to do this step at all now i like to use a lot of body foam wrap because it gives it a softer hold i have purchased some new products from the beauty supply store that i will be trying out soon especially because it is about to get cooler well hold on let's hope it get cooler outside because i am in texas and it is still very hot but i do want to start trying to you know get some glue and try to see how well what glues work in the winter time because you guys know i'm not doing that while it's hot out i'm not 
I'm either going glueless or I'm just going to use my free spray. So I'm just taking a little bit of the foam wrap and then I'm going to mold down the front of the hair. And then I will be using my Garnier Whole Blends Cream and I'm just going to brush that through the hair. And then I will let this set overnight and dry. This is a, only 130% in density so it should not take me long to dry at all. And I'm just making sure to scrunch it up to make sure to define the curls. What the unit is looking like once it is freshly dried and yes it is freshly dried it still looks a little wet and it has a sheen to it but that's because of the bright ring lights but we are going to make sure to fluff that out and make it look more natural and when i put it on i was like "Ooh, this is looking a little thin but i said let me wait and see how it's gonna look when i fluff it up because you guys know curly hair can be very deceiving When I was cutting the lace off, I did notice that I should have sprayed a little bit of tint spray towards the very top of the lace. I am still learning when it comes to lighter lace colors, how to try to camouflage it with the lace tint. I'm gonna keep practicing until I get it right, but hopefully the powder will definitely take care of it. I also did not have to go in on the side and cut down any of the lace by my ear. I didn't feel like I needed to at the elastic band inside of the kit so if you wanted this to be glueless it definitely can however i'm going to go in with my glam force spray and i'm going to spray it on top of the lace and then on the side and then i'm going to take my blow dryer to go ahead and speed up the process um i need to find some more of this glam force spray because i really do like it you guys have been seeing me use this more often than usual but it helps me have a good hold, but I also don't put makeup on my hairline just so I can kind of keep everything clean and I don't have a lot of buildup. But yeah, just taking the blow dryer on a warm setting and then it's only gonna take me about 10 minutes to make sure it all dries down. everything has dried down I'm going to take the edge brush and kind of comb through the baby hair so that I can comb on any other free spray so it doesn't look crunchy and shiny I still want them to look very soft and nice and then I'm just going to take my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum and I'm just going to work on fluffing up the hair and as you guys can see on this one side it fluffed up very nicely one thing I can say is even when it was wet I did not notice like track showing i didn't notice a super thin amount for it to be 130 percent i feel like this one looks very natural so far while i am fluffing it up after putting my final touches on this unit and making it look as natural as possible this is the final outcome this is the curls the curls look very nice i fluffed them up now you could probably go a little bit bigger on fluffing it up but i just like the way that this one looked now this hair is once again in 14 inches so it did have some shrinkage you can get this hair in the lens 8 10 12 14 and 16 as far as the density goes they did very good with the 130 but you can get this unit in 150 percent also if you want some bigger thicker hair Well, hairline looks really good. Um, the only thing that I will probably change is to get the medium cap color because I'm pretty sure this one is light. But for this price, I feel like it is very beginner friendly, especially if you are new to trying out wigs and you don't want to have to break the bank. You do not have to break the bank to look good at all. You can always find a nice unit for under $100. Now, this unit is $55 on the website. And then I put my zip code in for shipping and it states that the shipping is $25 which gives you a grand total of $80 and that is not bad because it is under $100.
let me know if you are feeling this wig if you are i'll make sure to leave all the details down below if you guys want some more affordable human hair wigs that i can find let me know down below in the comment section also guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys